Hey everyone, Mike from Flaming Koala. Um, Nathan Mitchell gave me a couple of pods and I've been busy, haven't been able to eat them. So here's a chocolate primo. I've already smelt it pre um, prior to the um, recording. And it's just yellow. People are new to the heat. See, yellow is something that you should be afraid of. There you go. Chocolate pods already make me feel a bit yuck in the gut. I'm recording at the front. Normally I record in the chili garden, but the kids are noisy and they would be and the background a lot. So yeah, this one's a bit soft. On that side. Might be a bit monk. So it could be eating a patchy off pepper. But this side's solid. It's good. Alright. <sighs> it's big. And it's a chocolate pod. neighbors um what you see in there it's like i think i left something all right i'm just trying to make excuses not to eat it all right here we go um i will actually screenshot on the internet how many scrobles what pepper it is let's try something new this time um instead of me jolt i'll still jolt it down in the comments anyway and i'm in the description Chocolate boards. Uh, it's only red. Not as floral work. Normal chocolate bars are, but it's still nasty. It's floral. <clears throat> and what makes it worse, it's a big pod. So you're still chewing on it for ages. When it comes to heat, the chocolate master is hotter. As a typical primo, builds heat on my lips. None on my cheeks. On my tongue. So. I'll, I'll show you guys. So. On your front of your tongue. All over your lips. So my lips might be looking red soon. It's hot. Is ringing slightly. Heat still building, but like any chocolate pod, it's just floral. It's a bit bitter. Um, there's a lot of capsicum oil on it, as most chocolate pods are hotter than the counterparts. Um, so for example, if I had a red, red Primo, and ate that one first, it would have been hot, probably tastier, compared then, wait a few minutes until it settles down and ate the chocolate one, 
that chocolate one will be hotter. But floral. Um, I can't realistically be honest and tell you what they're good for. I wouldn't really like to put something floral in the sauce or any rub. But I do have a big black mama in my chili lime. And um, you can't taste the floralness in it because it's only one pod. Sorry guys. <laughs> Bit yuck. Um, the heat. And, um, obviously nose runs and stuff. Yeah, so it's only one pod. So the floralness isn't really that bad. You can't really taste it whatsoever because what happens is in other ingredients mask this um, taste. But you still get the heat. Um, but having just chocolate pods in a sauce or just chocolate pods in a rub, I don't know. People probably have already done it. And prove me wrong, but I reckon that would taste gross. Because just all straight chocolate pod will have that floral. Most have floral and bitter. It's only a few that is actually being sweet and chocolate. And now it's the um, chocolate ghost pepper. That one was sweet, super hot. And yeah, it's just only pod that was nice, chocolate wise. I had the uh, DM Butler. That one was just hectic. Took the mask in for shame. And um, yeah. What else could I you know, describe chocolate pods? <laughs> Make your nose running? Face red? <laughs> No, nah, but, alright, so with the pot itself, it was hot. 4 out of 10. 5 out of 10. Compared to that mask, and it was like 8 out of 10. It was hot. And, um, I'd say it would be under a million Scoville. The heat dissipated real quick. But, I still got chunks of pepper seeds in my teeth and gross. And then I will screenshot you the actual pepper and the Scovilles and everything. And I'll put it down in the description. And um, I'll put another video up later on if I got time. Hopefully, I do got time. And um, I've done a lot of stuff on the business webpage, this kind of thing. So, not Facebook, the actual website. So, you got um, our batches. You got an actual page on the website of the batches, so you can go down and you can personally go. Oh, look, I got batch two. Go down with right, well, chili lime. So you just see chili lime batch two. Go onto the batch page of our website, and um, it'll be there. Batch two, the date, what the temperature was, what the pH of bottling when it was. Um, any notes that we needed to do for it so with um manufacturing you might have a uh, example batch three batch three was um different to batch two and you wanted to find out why so with batch two you look down on the notes and just for example i added a few more grams of xanthium gum um I'm probably butchered the name, so they're thickener into that sauce, and batch three is running our corner. So I go, okay, well, I can fix it. So that's what more most manufacturing people do. They um, make sure they jot down every single information they can while making products, um, and that's just the way you do it. Um, some people don't; they just hope for the best, um, but. I like to keep it legit and go um, beyond what normal people would do. And yeah, so we don't really have to show you the batch information. We don't even even have to put the batch on the bottle. Um, and when it comes to Whiskey Reaper, 
between um, liquor and gambling, we don't even have to put down that there's um, alcohol left in the bottle. Or if it's even real alcohol, um, you just have to state that it, it may contain, um, or you just have to put down whiskey. You don't have to say it's real, fake, or anything. As long as it's on the ingredients, who cares if it has like 20%, 30% left of alcohol in it? Alcohol and gambling doesn't really um, matter too much about it. Um, and I message them multiple times for that. Uh, but yeah, so I'll go into more detail about that and I'll screenshot the business part um, of stuff later on. So yeah, that's the Chocolate Primo. Floral, bitter, hot, um, dissipates real quick, 5 out of 10, maybe 4.5 out of 10. It's not even hot, it's like, it's hot, but it dissipates real quick. Um, with most other chocolate super hots, they tend to hit me and stay with me for a, a while, but this one didn't. Alright, thanks for watching. And I will try to keep these reviews up more frequently. Um, just being a bit busy. Trying to get the special blend out. And the tropical scotch. Oh, pardon me. Pepper burp. And that will be in a later video. Oh, because I've got something special for the tropical scotch. I've, um, well, I was sat now. I've, I've added more ingredients onto it. It's probably not going to be too cost effective. Um, but most of my sources, fruit sources, are going to be cheaper than their counterparts. And we try not to try and keep it as one price. Um, but we'll get that more into further because it's almost gone 12 minutes. And this is only a pepper review. Alright. Thanks guys. Mike from Flame Guila. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um... I'll see you next time.